Have Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, my good night. Give me my cards tonight. Yeah. What time is it, you ask? Half four in the morning. She has love and pizzazz and a Everyone, how are we doing? Happy weekly vlog day. I'm sweating me little titties off. Absolutely drenched. Sweating. Just went to Aldi and Home Bargains. I actually bumped into Byron, which was lovely. Um, he was telling me all about how his Sony camera is very broken and he can't fix it. And I was like, well, that's good because mine's also broken, but his is more broken than mine. Anyway, so I just went to Aldi. I just got back from my yoga retreat weekend. That vlog is live if you wanna go and watch that. But I just thought, let's pick up the camera. I say straight away, I've been back, I've unpacked, and I've gone and done my weekly shop with my big old sack. So I thought I would give you a bit of a haul. Next week, I think I'm gonna film with what I eat in a week and buy in a week living alone. Because I do think I have meal planning and stuff down to a T, but this week is a little sociable. So, they got up here anyway. They're out of the way. I got six chocolate mousses. Don't judge my fridge right now. She's a bit of a mess. I'm on the heaviest period of my life. I literally feel like I'm just sitting in wet blood. I'm really sorry, that's really gross. But I'm not used to this life anymore. And it's fucking shit, man. Six chocolate mousses. And even the Aldi man was like, oh, they've got up in price, haven't they? Supply and demand, sir. Supply and demand. Oh my God, I've got a whole protein, like yogurt thing shelf. <laughs> I love living alone. I got more peach juice. <sighs> Cause I'm just waiting for Tia to come home. <laughs> um, I finally got sriracha from Aldi. Kind of forgot I needed it and then walked past it. and was like, oh yeah. Two sweet batatas and an aubergine because I wanted something else in my lasagna and they had no pepper. Vegan me is rolling and dying in her grave. I've got chicken breasts, sue me, and strawberries. Okay, so actually the reason I bought um, chicken breasts, not that I need to explain myself to anyone, but I don't wanna eat chicken, right? But one, it is easy <laughs> and I had reflexology on the weekend and she was like, you really do have some gut issues, don't you? And I was like, oh, I don't know. I'm always, I'm gonna argue if I do. And she was like, yeah, you do. I can tell your like gut to brain connection is off. Um, and just in general, I don't wanna eat so much processed food and veggie chicken and stuff. Oh, I don't know. It's just very processed. And I don't want it to, and like vegan me would, would literally be screaming at me like, yeah, but you're fucking eating chicken, a chicken, an animal. Like that's not good for you either. But like it's lean protein and no, it's probably not very good for me. And like Aldi chicken, it's probably like not organic. But at the moment, that's what makes sense in my head. I do want to do some more research about it and whatnot. And if it means me buying happy chicken, then I'll buy happy chicken. Um, Cause I really do want to just get like less processed stuff in my body because I'm not, I'm not, eating red meat like that's just something i don't think i'll ever probably do and i'm not really a fish gal people are probably like why don't you just go pescatarian but in my fucking head a fish and a chicken is still a fucking animal like being pescatarian is no better morally than eating chicken like chicken and fish to me same as anything chicken and cow same don't ask me why i won't eat red meat and why i'm eating chicken morally i couldn't fucking tell you and then from home bargains i really wanted a footstool <laughs> really want to put this all in my living room and I thought they might have a cheap one. They did have a big, gorgeous green bean bag for $29.99. But then I just still thought $29.99 was a waste of money because I decided I didn't want the bean bag. But they did have this, which is why I ended up going back in a heated blanket. And I have wanted one of these ever since Tia introduced it into my life and told me I needed one. And in Home Bargains slash B&M, they're like 30 quid, right? In, now I'm gonna go and collect the one that I've ordered downstairs from Amazon. I found like the cheapest one possible that's online and it was 55. The cheapest color was pink. So I was like, okay, fine. And it does look like it would be way thicker than what this probably is, but that's not why I want it. Like I won't use it as for a blanket, like a cozy blanket unless it's like turned on. So I don't really care. Um, and 50 quid, I'd need every penny I can get at the moment. Someone literally DM me the other day and was like, 
you girl let's be honest like you're not broke and i was like girl let's be honest you have a no idea how much money is in my bank account <laughs> so not that i need to explain myself again but you also don't know anything about me so i won't be doing anything i absolutely can to save a bit of coin but yeah this is obviously not like a aesthetic color or anything but like i said i don't care that's not what it's for it's literally just to keep warm and not pay less money on heating <laughs> so that was 30 quid from home bargain so i was like bargain and then i really want a lamp for my living room but as i said i'm broke atm so i will not be buying one that i really like and then home sense had this for nine quid and i was like well again it's a bit cheaper i'll put it on the floor it might not give off that much light but i'm literally gonna put it like this behind my sofa so yeah i got this and this and then the bulb in the lamp came to less than the other lamp so and it's for something that i probably won't really keep like it's just until i have money to buy a lamp that i do want um i hope this bulb fits in it some fucking massive night pads because as i said i'm on the literal biggest fucking period ever uh batteries because my heart lamp needs more batteries i've wanted one of these forever the little ones that have the very liquid so you could just go um, I left my fucking, my hairbrush, right, went missing, missing, out of thin fucking air in the yoga retreat. Like, seriously, it wasn't in my room anywhere. I've unpacked in none of my bags. So weird. No idea where it was this morning. I literally washed and then brushed my hair with like a comb, like a fine tooth comb, but my hair's so freaking fine, didn't matter, but I just picked up. And then I accidentally brought this with me <laughs> in my shopping bag, my Wilco Sting Spray. Yep, of course it doesn't fit. So I'm a dumb bitch. I should have known that to be fair. Okay, I just went down to reception and this is the one that I ordered. Whew, I am tired. I have no energy to cook lasagna, even though I would love to. Should I like, make lasagna? It's really not that much energy to make lasagna. I might just cook everything. <laughs> going from i've got no energy to cook lasagna to like i might just cook everything it's literally i mean this is a bit softer i'm not gonna lie but it's no thicker is it softer yeah it is definitely softer like significantly softer but i don't know it's a heated blanket at the end of the day it is very very soft actually okay yeah fuck it i'm gonna meal prep <laughs> because then i'm done for the week <laughs> i don't have to cook again Oh God, I'm starving now. So I'm just layering up the lasagna. I'm gonna pour myself a bloody Intune CBD drink, you better believe. Oh, there we go, it kind of works. Normally I do three along and I have to break them all, but three that way fit perfectly. Final part done. There is literally five minutes left on the lasagna. This is arguably the most important part. So I'm glad I did that because if I literally, and it only takes five minutes, but I seem to always not do it. And then even if I'm making like sweet potato and chicken or something, I always seem to just like not make the veg at the end because it seems like a bit of a chore. And then I don't eat vegetables all week. Look at this fridge. It's looking good, man. Absolutely. There's like five minutes left on the lasagna. I remember I've got a Dragon's Den episode and I feel like it's my first night in the flat again. Like... This is my favourite vibe. I love it when the flat looks like this. All the pink's on. Okay, won't focus. The pink's never look that good on camera. Vibes. I'm gonna sit on the floor, watch Dragon's Den, and then get up in my heated blanket, and I think I might start the Traitors US, just because I miss it. <laughs> so hungry and so happy. <laughs> just spent a little bit longer cleaning the flat than probably intended, but it is gorgeous and sparkling and i thought you know what so why, why do i look like i've not got an eyebrow i thought you know what it's worth it for tomorrow morning and i actually finally made another batch of peppermint iced tea the floor is hoovered the sink is spotless it's all good like everything that i possibly used is all away which is great because now i've got dinner for dinner and lunch for the next like four days, which means literally no washing up <laughs> because it's all in the fridge. I just have to wash the plate that I use, which is literally fantastic. And my room is looking gorge. My favorite time of day. I've not got my coffee yet because I'm gonna make it and bring it downstairs in a minute when I go to work. Like something shattered. 
Oh, I love the mornings. I feel like you live in this spot whenever we vlog, but oh, I'm feeling good. I'm up and I'm, I say ready. I'm dressed in some slightly appropriate clothes. And I'm gonna go downstairs and do some work. I'm feeling like nice and kind of on it. Like I feel very aware of how I'm spending my time. Like then I was able to realize like, oh no, I'm about to like sit and watch TV for ages. I need to get up. Oh, guys. <sighs> Fuck. I really don't have much oat milk. I probably shouldn't be drinking coffee on my period, should I? I'm about to mix oat milk and soy milk. Sue me. I'm gonna go downstairs and work until I can have the mental ability to go on my run. I've been enjoying running midday anyway. Feels a bit more doable. Like right now I'm tired and I'm sluggish. I need to wait until I'm like awake. Don't actually, know, don't actually know if I said this in the vlog, but I'm trying to limit my podcast work to just one day and like bang out absolutely everything for the podcast in one day because I spend too much time on it. I spend too much time on it. It doesn't currently make me any money. So it's like a passion project, which I love and would never ever give up in a hundred million thousand years. But I need to limit my work to one day because I like neglect all my other platforms because of it because I just love it and enjoy it so much. So I'm trying to get everything done in one day um, so that it's productive and I feel good because really it should only take me one day a week. But I think this week I'm going to have to do two because I want to be ahead one week. And I missed last week because I wanted this week to be the yoga one and I couldn't film the yoga one until I actually went to the yoga retreat. Um, so yeah, about to film the podcast and then I think I'm going to go out on a run and then come back and continue with some work. Okay, podcast done. I'm feeling super good. Let's get all the meal prep out. I really, really enjoyed that episode. It was all about the yoga retreat. Got some nice peppermint tea. And I got quite emotional. I really enjoyed it and I feel like I'm having a really good day now. There has been a lot that I've done and I'm gonna continue to do, um, which is good. Aligns with my new values that I did just speak about in that podcast. And the sun has come back out for my run. <clears throat> oh my god, you cannot be Cajun sweet potato. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's literally my favourite thing in the world. I could eat it all right now. I forgot how fucking ravenous you get on your period. Well, I assume that's what this is. I've just eaten lunch. And I wanted a little something sweet, because I always do. So some party rings. And then I was like, oh shit, I'm actually like really hungry. So I was like, okay, I'll have a brioche, like some carbs. And then I'll get on my run. Because I want to get my run done now. Because one, the sun is shining. And two, like... I just want, I just want it done. Like I like, I just like having my run done. Cause it means I don't have to like leave the house again. Like the, the big task is done for the day. I literally feel like I could eat a fucking small child. I'm so hungry. <laughs> but like, am I hungry? I literally feel like I could just eat that lunch I had like four times. But straight after I finished the lunch, I wasn't hungry. Like I was satisfied. And then I was like, oh, I'm a bit hungry, I should have the brioche. Now I'm starving. Okay, I feel a bit more satisfied now. And the fucking sun's gone and it looks like it's freezing. I don't want to go outside in the cold. Which is also why I want to get it done. Because running <laughs> that first like K in the cold is fucking shit. Um, so I just want to get it done. Like I don't want to keep thinking about how I have to go and do it. Woo, I went on my run. Um, and it was actually quite decent as well. Bearing in mind, I um, am on my period and just 
felt a bit like I wasn't going to be able to push myself. It was quite decent. And then I think we're going to take a quick trip to the post office and to Home Sense. Okay, I think we've got the bulb. So let's look. I did have to take over. Who the frick? Is this just part of when you move out, you're supposed to instantly know what lamps need what light? Like, how are you supposed to know that? Because this doesn't say anything. It says this thingy is compatible with the bulbs in these energy classes but the bulb i bought was an e so i was like okay well clearly that's fine then but they have so many measurements on them i was literally supposed to just return my bulb and get another one but i did kind of need a few things to be fair so i needed more tissues i keep these on my living room table and actually they come in way more handy then you would realize and then my therapy tissues and then Epsom bath salts in Home Bargains were two pound and my knee was oh, painful on the way there. And then I got an eight pack of Pepsi Max because I was gonna buy one anyway and one was a pound and eight was three pounds. I thought, well, duh. And these are for the Galentine's event, which was another thing that I did actually want slash need. Um, I was just looking for sweets and stuff. They didn't really have any, but they've got loads of Valentine's Day decorations. So I got these heart confetti and i'll probably go back and get some more of these maybe but i got two bags of heart chocolate because i'm gonna get loads more sweets so i was like well i don't need like enough for everyone to have loads of them each and then i got a vimp dough no sugar because then i had one of these in ages and it was 39p i did screw this into one of the this same lamp that was at home bargains and it screws in so i'm assuming that means it's right let's turn it on and check it's not turning on oh wait it's actually really bright. I didn't flick the lamp switch. It's actually really bright. Let's put her in a place. God, it's really bright. Oh, that is a decent amount of light. Oh, slay. But I don't think it's very optimal there in terms of the plug. So I'm thinking we just put it here and just shine it upwards. Yay! There we go, that's all I needed for £15 for now. I just needed some light in the corner. Whoa, that is so bright. Or is it just not that dark yet? No, are you crazy? What the heck? That's lovely. I'm chuffed with that. Absolutely chuffed. It's actually a bit too bright. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy now. Okay, brilliant. So glad. Um, I'm also quite hungry, so. I'm going to pop my lasagna in. I think I'm going to pour myself a vimp dough. Leave my little la lamp on now. I'm well chuffed with myself. I want to put new oil in my uh, in diffuser. My de-stress oil. It's currently got energised. But it's evening time now, you know. Although I am going to do a little bit more work. But I'm excited to sit on my sofa and chill and do some work now. Good morning. I didn't wake up this morning. I'm going to the gym. But then I didn't really, I couldn't get to sleep last night. I can't sleep the last few nights. Um, I don't really know why. My bed just really isn't comfy. I'm going into town today to meet Alex. Um, I've never actually met her before. I think I explained this at the beginning of the week to do some, have a little work date, have a little coffee date, which I'm excited about. We said to meet at 10, but obviously I, I didn't end up going to the gym and she was like, I'll probably end up being there before 10. So I'm just gonna kind of leave like, as soon as I've tidied stuff off, which means I will get there for about 10 because it's only about quarter past nine, I think. And I'm waiting for my laptop to charge a bit because it has no battery. Oh my god, just walking past the shop, about to track you guys. But look at this puzzle. How freaking cute is that? Oh, I bet they've got cute cards in here, actually. Yeah, have a little look in here. I love this shop. It don't mean that much to me. I totally forgot I was vlogging there for like what feels like the whole day. I got a big old Pepsi mix. Oh, you can't beat it. Um, so <laughs> I went to town today. I went to the coffee shop 
and met a new pal, met Alex for the first time. Um, we had such a nice day, well morning even, shall I say. Um, I've already said, would you like to go and do the same next week? But then I went into town because Carter is coming tomorrow and it's kind of like our little Valentine's Day because I don't think we're gonna see each other before now. So I just wanted to get a few little bits, like I didn't get loads because, well, last year we definitely did do presents, but we both got quite big presents. But I don't think that's the vibe this year because neither of us, had, neither of us have said that's the vibe. So I just got a little card. Oops. Uh, there was so many cute ones. I never know how to pick. So I got that because that's actually them exact words. Something I say a lot. And then we've wanted to go into Lego. Not we. Well, yeah, we have wanted to go into Lego and make little mini figurines of ourselves for a while because Lou and her boyfriend did it. When I say I made his really quite quickly because look at that i mean i know that is a like worker's top right like look at the tools i'm aware of that but he literally has a red shirt like this that he wears all the time um a ralph Lauren one and i just thought oh my god that looks so much like him i mean obviously the hair is literally brunette and my boyfriend is very very much a ginger but they had ginger like long kind of girl's hair not like girl's hair but it wasn't this looked more like a mullet. Like, I was undecided if the other one looked like a mullet, but I ended up going for this because I thought this is more the hairstyle, less the colour. Um, I don't know what these are, but I kind of just, like, you have to pick an accessory with them. So I got these because I was like, they kind of look like wine glasses. I don't think they are. I don't think that's what they're supposed to be because, like, Legos for children and they're huge. Like, they're bigger than the heads. But then I suppose wine glasses are. I don't know, I, that's the accessory I picked, but guys, mine is so bad. I was in there for like probably a good, I'm not joking, 30 minutes, probably. They had no long hair. They had no, yeah, longer, more feminine, if you will, hair. Stop, stop it, that looks nothing like me. Like his is so good. And mine just doesn't look like me. And they had no like tops, like they're all like characters. Like no, like just like normal tops. So I'm wearing a bloody like running jacket, cardigan thing, with a long denim skirt. Look, that's not even legs. Oh my God, I lost my hair. Oh, it looks bloody better without it. So I got these because I mean, we have been wanting to do it together for ages. And I mean, I went and did it myself, but we can go back and make more if he wants, if he doesn't like them. I don't know what we're gonna do with them but it's just something we've said for ages. So I was like, oh, I'll go do it, because that's cute. But I got them. And then I got like tissue paper, these, this like cute set from Flying Tiger, pink, red, and the hearts, so cute. And then I got some bits from, <laughs> I got some bits from Anne Summers. Sorry, mum. And then I got these. Balloons. I really wanted something cute to put here. Like there was a big like uh, bannery thing that says be my Valentine and like just cute hearts. And I thought he'll probably laugh at me if I go that full out. Um, so I got these and I'm gonna blow up one of the forever and one of the kiss me things I think. Cause the other one says be mine but it's just not the same color as the wrapping paper and stuff. Um, and I also got some Dun um, Dunkin Donuts, some Krispy Kremes. I wonder if he's gonna guess what these are. I really want to film his reaction to... Oh, do you know exactly what he's going to do? This is not what he always does. And he does it with like weird things. We'll go, they're sick! <laughs> like he does it when he doesn't know how to react to things. He goes, oh, that's sick! <laughs> I made him sound like a proper boy then. Oh, like, that's sick! Like he's always like really excited like a golden retriever like, oh, that's sick! Oh yeah! <laughs> Good idea! Jess and Chloe are coming around for some pizza tonight. Okay, I forgot to vlog, but um, my friends are leaving now. Hi. We had a lovely evening. Oh, we actually to fucking shut up. You <laughs> I verbal vomited diarrhea everywhere. You be my counselor tonight. Meg, I love your advice. Yeah. Why? I feel like you haven't spoken. The li- the li- <laughs> Yoga retreat <laughs> really resonates, doesn't it? Yeah. The lover's card. 
Oh my god, you, you, oh you my got a jumper jaw! Oh, I've got, I've got a jumper jaw! <laughs> 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 oh, thank you so much, Maggie. You've been an absolute dream to be with as well. <laughs> my as team, always. Like, the whole two times we've seen each other. a woman's energy. Did you have two teas? I had two teas at the same tea bag because oh. the cost of the crisis and all that. We were used. It is literally 10 past 7 in the morning. I've just woken up and Carl is nearly here. <laughs> Bless him. He was like, I got on an earlier train. I get in at 24 minutes past 7. That boy is crazy. But when he does come, I'll film. <laughs> when we end up doing little presents um, that I've got him, I'll film his reaction to the Lego. It's not because it's a real present. Like, it's not a... It's not... It's so nothing. What do you think my reaction is going to be? I said you're going to go, oh yeah, that's sick. <laughs> I feel like you're really going to laugh, but what if. No, I can't speak. Oh, that is sick. I love it. No, but you don't know what it is. Well, I can already tell. What do you it, think it, it is? It's me and you in minifigures. <laughs> you went on your own to do that and you didn't do it with me. Well, I was going to say to you, but I think we're going to need to do mine again because it's really, really ugly. <laughs> They didn't have a single piece of long hair. <laughs> you look like a middle-aged woman. Yours is so good. I was in there for like 40 minutes trying to pick them. How cute are you? I mean, I know it's a builder's top, but it was the closest I could get to something you would actually wear. That's quite good. Isn't I it? I really take to find the moustache. The first one I picked up? Oh, they got, oh, it's got nice ones. Yeah, because the first, I had it round the other way first time. <laughs> we need to come to Ezra and Gil for breakfast because uh, so I was like, hey, we have to try this eventually. We've both, got, we've both got the same thing, obviously. Coffee's really, really good. Yeah, delightful. It's, yeah, this coffee is absolutely great. Um, okay, Ezra, Ezra and Gil. We're having an honest opinion. We don't rate it. I do apologise <laughs> if you see this, but the avocado was a bit rubbish. It was rubbish. It really did not taste nice. Um, I mean, I ate all of it. I did not. I can't I eat things I that I don't like. I will say coffee's excellent. The coffee was really, really good. I also got an affogato, which is excellent. It was only three pounds. Yeah, it was really good. And I had this um, coffee all over it. But yeah, avocado, not good. It was kind of like guac you'd buy in like, you know how you buy hummus? It's literally spreadable guac. Yeah, like in them pots. Like someone had just like put four avocado avocados <laughs> in a blender. And like they were too smooth and I think they probably did it two days ago. It was disappointing, but the little baby tomatoes were excellent. Unreal. Yeah, unreal. Good egg as well. Yeah, good egg. It was well done, it was well okay. poached. Okay toast. Yeah, the bread, I'm not a fan of the bread to be honest, yeah. but. But we're gonna go and walk up this way a little bit. Cause everyone is saying to me, well, you need to go over to Ancoats. And I was like, okay. And Alex told me yesterday, it's literally up here. Like if you just carry on walking after Ezra and Gil up this way. So we're gonna go to sea and then go to town. Okay, we're back because we oh, both agreed. really fucking me Because <laughs> we both agreed that my hair was wrong. And we've got so many new hairs in it today. This is the greatest moment of our day to <laughs> Look at this hair. Isn't it so cute? We can't say I should have shorter legs because I'm, as I'm little. Oh, that's much better. Like, we're nailing it. I should have had now. I feel like I look really silly now. <laughs> I don't know what to do. It's gym time. And then it's champagne and Krispy Kreme so time. I'm very excited to go with Megan. Yeah, we actually haven't, have we? Because um, last time you came here and you went to the gym, I went. I run. I'm running, running, running. I'm always fucking running these days. <laughs> running everywhere I go. Yeah, we're going to go to the gym. Oh, <laughs> we just got back from town. We went to the art gallery, but it wasn't. I don't think it slapped that much. Neither did the gift shop, really. And then we'll eat all the meal prep. Mm. And that was champagne, by the way. <laughs> Maybe. That was good. We are eating the Krispy Kremes I bought. Nice. Cut's literally already eaten one. Um, we've just found this show. <laughs> we've just found this show, Physical 100. It's excellent. It's so cool. It's like the top. Well, they people applied, right? And then they I got assume, let in or I not. I assume they probably asked people. Yeah, but someone said, oh, when I applied, when I did my interview, no, when I... So there's like 
Korean top 100. Best bodybuilders, like athletes, male and like female, yeah, gold Olympics, Olympics gymnasts, army models, people, scuba models, diver, dancer, yeah, CrossFit, like people who think you'd think have like the best physique, and the whole point of the show is to like find what physique is the best all round. And they're in two hundred k. They're in two hundred k, which is crazy. Their first thing is they like, just like hang. Oh, is that? Is it they're already on my last two. Is that eighteen year old come third? He's incredible. Wow, this is crazy. What time are they on? They're in the same corners again. The quad card abroad. It's my bloody second bottle in this flat. I've only been in here like a month. I know. Best of the best for me, hey? Well, I only get Moe because I know I'll be drinking some of the Woo! Okay, I'm going to try not to drop it. Come here, come here, come here. You come. <gasps> it's coming out, it's coming out. Fuck, I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> that literally slid out. That was a bit scary. Physical 100 oh, so good. <laughs> We're still watching this bloody. What's this called? Physical 100. Have a Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, Megan. I love you. <laughs> Oh, my top's come undone. Day night. Can you do that up, please? The Uber is on its way. We were going to get a charm and accidentally we're late because we were watching Undateables and we finished that physical 100. Did you even press the button? <laughs> no, I pressed the button. We're one bottle of champagne down and I think it's affecting some of us. The Uber's literally here. I am absolutely not about to put you through listening to the trashy, awful audio that went along with these clips. We went to Blue's Kitchen. It was busy. It was live music. It was romantic. We got some food. That, we got some rosé that was quite good. We Carter made me this really cute serviette, as you can see. His hospitality really coming through. Assistant manager really slaying here. And then we got some, he got me some surprise cocktails. Mine was, of course, an Aperol. He got a whiskey sours. It was quite, quite tart, if you will. Um, and that was us when we went home quite drunk. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. It's not the morning really anymore, is it? It's like half 11. We, we actually slept. I was gonna get out of bed, Carl was still sleeping at 9, 9 a.m. I thought, God, this guy must be tired. <laughs> like to point out that I woke up at 4.55 the day before to <laughs> No, it's a good thing. That's what I mean, like you I must never, be tired. I never sleep. That's what I just said, so I was like, oh, you must be really tired. Yeah. We're up, it is raining. We had some it's breakfast, nice, and Carter's gonna stay another evening with me and get the train home at <laughs> like 6 a.m. tomorrow. Time, yeah, but... Worth it, but we're gonna go on a walk now Maybe. and get coffee from Prep. And maybe one of chocolate cookies. I really now want that toasty, I'm not gonna lie to you. So you're gonna go to costume betray Prep? Yeah, might. We came to Prep. I didn't get a coffee in the end. How good does that sound? All my favourite things. Classic, I always get this. Very bold. When I actually got garlic and herbs as well. Because <laughs> I just really wanted to try it. Okay, we're back from our walk and we went to Aldi. Guess what I got? I got a duvet because I literally can't sleep recently and my duvet here, which I... You're not you? No. My duvet here, I, as soon as I got here, I was like, oh, for God's sake, I forgot to, like, bring my proper duvet. Like, I brought my lighter duvet with me and then at that yoga retreat, oh, my God, she had the comfiest duvets and pillows and I was like, yeah, I need a better duvet. I mean, this is from Aldi. Last night I literally just couldn't sleep. Um, healing, it was to do with. Yeah, that's, com that's fluffier. That's comfier. Good. You can roll up in that. Yeah, that's sick. That's look at that. Look at all this duvet. <laughs> you like the Michelin man. That's good. That. <laughs> so I got that. That was good. I've got therapy in. What time is it? Half an hour. Got therapy in half an hour. And then we didn't get loads because we kind of just got dinner for tonight. I did get more toilet roll. Nine of them because Carl was here, so I'm carrying. Pardon? 
We are cooking up a storm. We went to carp in the end and get it and got and got and get it. Jesus, I'm tired. And got ah, garlic baguettes. I don't know why I did that. Don't know why I thought I'd be able to show you that. Um, also cooking up an aubergine that I had, and we got dough balls for maybe to eat later. And Cara and, and Cara also got wild strawberry cheesecake, bit rogue, and fuck loads of mini eggs because these are literally my favourite. 300 grams of mini eggs. Guys, I just ran my first fastest ever 5k, like significantly as well. It was 31 minutes for 50. Oh my god, this vlog is so fun. Oh, the girls just texted me that they're coming tomorrow, but they're also going to stay all of Sunday and now Monday night. So I'll probably end up finishing this up on Sunday, just because I don't want it to be too long. But what a fun week! Look at this. Which one, which one did you want, the pink? Look at this. Yeah, I've put yours on. Yum! Unbelievable teamwork. I'm going to get salt and pepper for the broth. Yum, 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 yum! Megan, 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 what's the plan for today? Good question, I reply. I have just been asleep for like over 12 hours. Me and Carter went to bed at like half nine because obviously he woke up at half four this morning <laughs> to get the train home. Um, I mean, I was awake for like, not really, about half an hour. Made him a coffee, came and stood with him, and then went back to bed and then he was like, oh, I'm going. I was like, more am um, And that was at five, half five in the morning. He got a Uber and it's currently half 10. I think, yeah, it's half fucking hell, it's half ten. I've not woken up this late in forever. Anyway, I've got some work to do today. Kind of. We should like them. Unreal. Although I've just realised. Um, Can't left the mini eggs. Give them a chance. So I might have to put some mini eggs in it. <laughs> this is a good Saturday morning. Okay, so obviously I didn't do what I said. And I'm still sat here. It's a Saturday, man. I want to have fun. And I wanted to not have fun, but you know, I want a chill work environment. Can you hear my laptop? It literally sounds like it's about to take off. Um, but I'm thinking, finish the few little niggly bits that I'm doing. I can't, I can't decide when to upload this video. I'm going to do my run, 7K. Bit nervy, but I'm not, I'm not. I have eaten a fucking whole bag of mini eggs though, so that's not good. Hello, so as you can obviously see, you go back in the cupboard. Um, it is much later now. It is currently 10 to seven. Guys, I ran a freaking 7k today. I ran for 7k, 48 minutes, which, yeah, some people can nearly run like a 10k in that time, but do I care? No, not what this journey's about. Literally, someone fucking rewind a month ago and tell me who couldn't even run a 4k, could not fucking run a 4k. Walked on one of my 3k's that she just ran for, oh, slay, that she just ran for 48 minutes. Seven fucking Ks, bitch. Although my knees were quite sore afterwards. Um, this one still is feeling a bit wheel, but the flat is oh, spectacularly clean. Imogen, I think, has probably actually just got into Manchester. Gabby's now delayed. Hey, <laughs> oh, vloggy. Hello, oh, the girl is here, finally. Look, <laughs> Gabby's missed it. <laughs> Very poor effort. No! These are like my favourite flowers. Can I keep them in the water with yours? No, because they might die on the I side. I thought you were going to enjoy <gasps> for some reason. I love tulips. And a rainbow tulip. tulip. I love Megan, tulips. Didn't know about you so much, but I thought she laughed a little bit, innit? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I know you're not a Prosecco girly, but. I can fuck with Prosecco. What? So I thought, Anne, I've got peach juice. We can make like a Bellini. Oh, lovely. Oh, Never heard of Bellini, but. Bellini is literally just like peach no, I, I, syrup I, I, and Prosecco. I can't do Sexy. Sexy. I didn't know if you'd mature or not. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can, I can fuck with one. Wait, oh. Whee! Pop the duck. Thank you, I love these guys. Do you want a peach or are you? Um, I'll do. I'm sexy first. Cheers! Mmm. How cool. I think that's quite good. Actually, it's cool. Bit of peach love. <laughs> I've done a fucking pizza night. Literally about a hundred times in this flat. Maybe try some of this. With my sriracha. Oh yeah, sriracha and ketchup mixed together. Banging. <laughs> Banging. We are going out. We're all ready, finally. It's actually a really good time in. 10.05. I say finally. We've literally hardly taken any time at all. Finishing off the Prosex. <laughs> Yeah. 
to make the best Gigi Hadid pasta. These girls have ever eaten in their right, lives. She makes it anyway. She knows how to make pasta. I can't remember who I designated, but somebody is on garlic bread duty. I'll be doing... Imogen, can we be on garlic bread duty together so I don't feel yeah, like pressure? Yeah, that's fun. Gosh. All we have to do is make a little garlic butter and put it on a bagel and toast it. What time is it, you ask? Half four in the morning, I answer. What are you doing lip, at lip, half lip four on your girls' we weekend? We just made a little cheeky garlic yeah. butter situation, spreading it on the bag lay. We're gonna toast it, maybe add a bit of salt, pepper, have a bit of a crust on it. And you know, rightly so, where you're going. You're going in the cupboard, the place where you always are. I am making pasta. Because that is the one the one duty I have in this friendship group. Yeah, Lebosh. And this pasta as well. Oh, fuck me. Make me this one pasta. Yeah. If there is one thing in, I, in this no, friendship no, no. group that I'm no. born to do, it is make a pasta. Do you, know, do you know what is really funny as well? Hit me. I said to Poppy, I went, she went, oh, we're going out for food or anything. He went, oh, we're going to go to restaurant. I've got pizzas and all I really wanted a special, a special pasta. <laughs> Gabs, I saw her cook pasta. It's just onion, garlic, and cheese flakes. When Megan, Megan does it differently, she adds love and pizzazz and a sprinkle of a little, a little secret ingredient. Special I don't know what it is. is. Special seasoning. Dying every time. Even I don't Imogen, know what it Imogen is. Imogen will back me on this. Imogen, what? Imogen, Imogen, Imogen will back me that no, Megan's right. pasta. Specifically on Imogen's. It must have. Yeah. It must have been your. No, I don't even know. This is short, no, I don't even know. This is short jeans because when Matt made that vegan spaghetti bolognese, right, I never had that. I never had that. Nah, this spaghetti bolognese is like, um, how would you say, criminal in our family. Nah, it was. It was. A, it was a everything we have left in the fridge well, spaghetti bolognese. Well, tell Matt. I thought it was the best. It was a baby corn. I'll be putting these in. A broccoli. Yeah, fucking get them in the oven. Hey, these really girls it's are just, they just easy, love, they, yeah, they just love a decent Where does pasta. Go? I think that's even. Got a little pasta situation being served up. Should I put that back in the fridge? Made a little cheeky garlic butter, just, just put it on the bag lays, got a little bit crispy. <laughs> If you could smell this, if you could like go oh, right up there, smell it does smell like garlic bread. Can't smell lie. Vision. Let's go. I'm so excited about this. Slay. Yeah, Someone's like a picture. <laughs> point five. Give me a point five of the table. Look at this. Fuck McDonald's. I don't need you. I'm a hostess of the mostess. Good morning vlog. Just reporting live from Manchester. Imogen's dead on the sofa. We had a heavy, heavy, yeah, it's like what, 3 p.m. <laughs> Megan's having a shite. Shite and a shower. It's actually 2.47. We're watching how to build a sex room or something like that. We're going to go for a roast in an hour or two. Feeling a bit fragile. How do you feel on a scale of 1 to 10? I feel like... Six. Six, good. Six hungover. Yeah, so four. Four hungover. Yeah, no, maybe like, I feel like five, so I could go out. Like, I'll be okay if I shower, maybe. We, we need to shower. We've had some water. We've had a bit of brunch. Megan cooked it up. Imogen's cleaned it all. These these girls, they, they know how to do it. Do you know what I mean? I'm just, I'm just sitting here, just taking it on. We got some really, really ugly photos last night. I thought you said that was yeah, but this this is just for the vlog. We look really drunk and we, we actually weren't at this point. I always do it on the wrong side, my worst side profile, and my chin's just the boy. Are you vlogging? <laughs> I feel one for now. Yeah, I mean, let me get changed. Let me have a little coffee. A little iced coffee. Cough. Iced coffee and yeah. a little iced coffee. Iced coffee slay. Yeah, I'm just gonna get changed. Let's go. 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 That's it. That's that's what we're doing. That's the pussy slay. Big slay. Look at this. It's absolutely massive. Yum. Mm. 